How we doing? Good to see y'all. I can see my shadow in the back. Good to see everybody. Land Farmer 73. Happy Friday. And welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge. The new power edition. We, and please excuse me, the allergies got me. So, got my little pollen rag, like a lot of us do. Uh, Blue Eddie is a generator. It's just electric. Uh, let me see. How you doing? Hey, Mississippi Girl Gardening. How you doing? Uh, let me see. Jenny L. Say, I, I got the boot the other night. Nothing I did. I hope I stay in tonight. I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about, Jenny. Uh, let me see. Happy Friday. Hey, hey, Zach Price, TLC, Natural Joy 07. Happy Friday. Hey, Sheer Elegance 43. So now what? Aisha uh, Anne Marie Walker. Oh, in Jamaica. How you doing, Anne Marie? Y'all, please excuse my sinuses. But I listen. Oh my God, I've been, I've been going through something today, trying to get home. It's like everything that could have happened today happened. Had an allergy attack. Uh, what's up, there? Hey, uh, who was that? Rucker Homestead. Hey, Eco Bella, how you doing? Everything. The pollen got me. Then it was like, you got to work over. Somebody went home. I was like, man, not today. Not today, fam, please. Any other day, not today. Uh, Janiel, mid okay, we'll leave that alone, Jenny. It, 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 it's okay. It's all right. Oh, word. And, and Jenny L., I'm going to tell you something, too. I'm not like Jay Leno or something. So, you know, everything going to be all right. I can see if you offended Eddie Murphy or something. You okay. I'm just a dude. <laughs> okay. Don't worry about it. Trust me. You ain't going to get blacklisted out of Hollywood for something. Hey, how you doing? Uh, uh, Sovereign, I've missed it. Hey, King Casey, led you had me excited. Listen, listen, I'm excited right now. I was going to go live earlier. I was listening to me all day, all day. Even when they told me I had to work over, I was like, well, just let me just hurry up. Well, what you got? Just give me what I need to go. So I got to go. I got to do stuff. So, uh, I'm ready. And tonight, for everybody coming in, there will be an extra surprise that I want to show you. Okay? So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust that out, too, for you real quick. It's good to see everybody. Look at all this pollen on my table from blowing through these windows behind me. Look at that. Just pollen. Pollen, man. Good God. We ever get in a fight, you, you might not whip me hand to hand, but I tell you what, blow some pollen on me like serpent in the rainbow. Like, <laughs> I'm finished. <laughs> I'm out for the count with that pollen. I promise you that. I'm done for. You know how they make people into them zombies. They be like, <laughs> blow that powder in your face. Do that with some pollen to me. I'm finished. Okay. All right, fam. Let me get my pewter uh, reeled in. Hey, uh, L40 Jr. Butterfly Effect 86 in the house. How you doing tonight, little mama? There we go. There we go. Come on. Come on. I know what my name is. Okay. <laughs> ah, hey, Angela Locke, uh, Garden Sweden. 
Oh, Garden Sewing. How you doing, Garden Sewing? Revealed Light. Uh, Giselle Moore, how you doing? Humble Lion, what's going on, man? Let me see. Elena Jordan. Okay. Before we get going, hey, James Miller said, new subscriber, fellow post worker. How you doing, man? I hope you being safe out there because you know it's rough. Whoa, the list just started rolling fast. Good morning from Daytona Beach, Florida. Oh, my goodness. It's time for me to go back down there when all this mess is over. Craig Curry. I want to welcome everybody to the Greenhouse Lounge tonight because this tonight is a special night. Tonight is something I've been working on a long time, but just recently I've been concentrated and focused on just it. Uh-oh, tuning in from Brooklyn. Brooklyn in the house. Okay, so, hey, 2%. Before we get going, I just want to know. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait one more hot second. I want to know. No, forget that. We'll just keep answering the same question. Give me two seconds. Come on, snap. Okay. How many people? I'm ready, Lynn. I'm ready too, beautiful beast. I'm ready. What's going on? Uh, who is that, Mr. CT Gardener? Okay. Everybody is getting their gardens ready. And everybody ain't doing this anymore just to be doing it. We're, we're seeing adverse conditions and we're starting to get our gardens ready. And we're starting to get prepared for any and everything that we possibly can. All right. <clears throat> we all see that things is getting a little. Um, we're living in a new world. We can say that. I don't want to get into conspiracies and all that strange stuff. We're living in a new world. And. We better just get used to it. That's all I'm saying. We better get used to this way of life. So, I encourage you, before you start spending money on shoes, you know, it's tax season. Everybody like been waiting all year to get all your little stuff you've been putting off like you want to get that new the new shoes you want to get it we ain't gonna do no religion uh um um amelia okay because that i'm telling you that stuff start people start fighting over that stuff we ain't gonna do that we ain't gonna do that at all all we're gonna do because listen even with whatever religion you believe in you that's fine but even the reason i i do that listen the reason I do that is because people like to fight about religion. That's not what I want to do tonight. All we want to do tonight, you can see this with your eyes. You don't have to go with any prophecies. You don't have to read any books. We're seeing it with our eyes. And you can't lie. No, you don't have to debate what one scripture said versus another one because it's right here right now that's what i want to stay with because if we start doing that we get sidetracked off onto something completely different all due respect to you okay and and this ain't against you your religion your beliefs or anything this is people as you know whatever your faith is you know people like to argue about that stuff and you never get anywhere one person believes this another person believes that and now that's not why we're here tonight all we're here tonight is we know that there's adverse conditions going on in our world around us right now and the way it looks it doesn't look like it's going to get any better anytime soon i'm with you amelia i'm with you so, right, we don't have to talk about politics. We don't have to talk about none of that. I'm going to move that out the way too because this is what I want to focus on. This is what I want to focus on. No disrespect, Wild Woods, okay? I just want to move that because that word right there start getting stuff crazy too. Let's focus on what we know right now. You don't have to even say it out loud. What you know that's happening in your area 
in your neighborhood, that's it. I'm not going to keep wasting time on this. Hey, Dan Permaculture Food Force brother. I'm so glad you here tonight. I'm so glad you here. And if a frugal nurse homestead in the house, I'm glad she here too. If she ain't, she'll see this. Thank you, Dan. Man, you, man. Thank you, bro. So, blind guy and his wife there. I believe, see, see, I'm praying. Come on, man. Listen, I said, I don't want to do that, man. I'm telling you, because people going to fight about that. I don't want, that's not why we're here. Okay? That's not why we're here, man. Because once you start announcing that, you're just going to have other people fight you about it. Okay? So, <clears throat> here we go. Right on the subject. Everybody. L tell me. How many people have purchased a generator fairly recently or at all? And if you have, tell me, did you buy gas? Did you buy electric? Which is electric, solar, gas, or both? Electric, solar, gas, or both? Yes, electric, solar, gas, or both? Electric, solar, gas, or both? Oh, oh, electric, solar, gas, or both? Oh, Jones, I'm about to get the blue Eddie. I have the small Jackery 240. I still want that. I have a LED. Uh, LED, I bought a gas so far. That's okay. Oh, lead, lead, lead. Uh, electric, but won't both. 10 minutes in, you have unboxed. No, no. Listen, this is, this is a slow dance. Okay. You want to race, you go see the ponies, okay? I'm making sure, listen, this, I'm making sure everybody get a chance to see it, all right? So, I have the dual cell power, power source, Terry Williams, electric gas. I have solar system in here, Jackery 500, Rock Pal 500. That Rock Pal still interests me. Gas solar still waiting on my Jackery 240. Dual max dual fuel generator. How is that? I'll put in the comments later how that is so I can read. Not in the live because I won't see it. In the comments. I really want to know. Blue Eddy 500. Uh, Yeti 3000. Oh, you got the beast of all beasts. Uh, Aisha. Uh, soon as the tax come in, Jackery. Uh, good. Years ago, gas. We live in Florida for hurricane. Years ago. You better... You better uh, get another one. Thank you, uh, homeschool life. Here's a little something for your Jackery 1500. And you know what? I'm going to put that towards that too. I promise you that. I promise you that. I promise you that. And I, I'm going to make sure you know about it. I promise you. What's going on, hands in the dirt? What's going on? It's at Point, uh, point Energy 1000. I ain't playing homeschool life. You will see. You will see. Buying Rock Pal soon. Still working. Uh, want electric, solar, wild woods. The reason I'm asking this is because I wanted to know. I know a lot of people ain't interested in this. And you know something? I feel bad for, for the people that's not here or in. I go say just here or not interested in. It. Because this is going to affect your life from here on out. For two different reasons. One, one, uh, the light's going to keep blinking in and out wherever you live at. Two, this is an easy, quick way to save money because you can run these and cut all the lights out and just run this and just charge up your laptop, your phone, all of your devices just on this and you charging that from the sun. Okay. That's it, y'all. Let's go. That's it. Y'all ready? I'm ready. I've been waiting all day. Let's get it. Y'all tell me when to go. And I'm I'm I think I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna wait till I see that screen rolling like the, the price is right wheel. And then I'm gonna go. <sighs> 
Should I open it right now? Go, 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 go. Make it go faster. Make that wheel. Spin that wheel. Make it say go faster. More people say go. I want to see this, this list spin. That's what I'm talking about. Spin that wheel. Spin that wheel. Okay, y'all. Let's go. Let's go. All right. I don't think we're going to need that for a second. This is it. Oh, I got mud all over the table. Mud on the dance floor. All right. That's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm going to turn this this way. Now, as you see, I turned um, the long way off at my table. And I did this so I would have room to move around here, okay? Because I want you guys... To be able to look down at it with me. I'm going to tell you one thing though. It's heavier than I thought it was. It's huge. Alright. Here we go. Let me, I, want, I want to be a little dramatic. Here we go. Right here. All right. Ooh, easy baby. Yes, it's a little heavier than I thought it was gonna be. Ooh, she sure is pretty, Paul. Oh boy, she got a pretty mouth on her too. Ah, let's set this up so we can really get a good look at her. Oh, she's fancy, daddy. She sure is fancy. Okay, okay. I got my power banks hooked up so I don't run out of juice. All right, making, I'm trying to make sure y'all can see everything because I want you to see everything. All right. All right, here we go. Ooh, she got a sweet mouth on her paw. Everybody always asks me, what kind of blades do I carry? I don't know why, but I'm going to answer you now. I always carry a Kershaw blade. I have several different kinds. I figured I'd answer that before somebody asked me. I always carry Kershaw. They just, and why do I carry a Kershaw? Because they keep a sharp edge long. It's the longest I've ever caught a, kept a sharp edge. Let's go. Easy, baby. Ooh. Pop go the weasel, cause the weasel go pop. A cold pop. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man. All right, y'all. It's, it's facing up the right way, so I'm going to just throw this stuff on the floor for now. Okay. Wait, we got we to do better than this. We got to do better than this. Got to be a little quicker than that. Hold on. I'm sorry. This is, this is horrible. But I really want, I want you to see, and I know you want to see, so I'm trying to get the best angle that I can possibly get without losing anything. This is harder than it looks. I thought this would be a lot easier than this. But that's how big this is. It's so big I can't get it in the frame. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's a big old girl. She pretty too. Buy me your mama. <laughs> Here we go, y'all. All right. It's so big. This how big it is. Take on my, my chin is right here. You can see my beard. Ooh. You smooth too, girl. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going to be gentle. Open her at the top. Don't worry, girl. I got some experience. 
Yeah, I went to a surgical summer camp. <laughs> it was three weeks long, so I got a little bit of extra fancy training. All right, all right. Y'all, I ain't been this exciting in a long time, I'm telling you. Long time. Come on, sucker. There we go. Look at this. Well, I'll be doggone. It's a box inside of a box. Uh, do I have an auditorium? I wish I did, cause this is huge. Ugh. Excuse me. Hey, babe. She can't hear me. Uh, come on, baby. Come on, baby, light my fire. Come on, baby, take me <clears throat> higher. Uh, yeah. Ah. Sometimes you gotta. Gangster with it. So you know good and well. I know people, somebody said, oh, that person really threw that on the porch. No, they didn't throw it on there. That sucker, he this is heavy. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, Paul, she sure is pretty. Okay, okay. I don't even remember what color I got, family. I don't even remember what color it was. All right. I don't want to mess the box up too bad. You know good and well. You know when you done spent some money and you excited. You want to open that box nice and slow. Make it nice and slow. Instructions. Uh, I think these instructions. Your satisfaction is our concern. Thank you, Blue Eddie. I don't know what this is, but we're going to open all this stuff real slow. All right. We're going to open that too. Packed up real good. I don't like doing unboxings for this reason right here. But, all right. Y'all ready? Ooh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, man, that is, whoa, that's heavy as lead. Pun intended. Ah, oh, come on. Mm. Got to get this baby a nice, I need some wax or something. Damn, they didn't want, they, they teasing me. Come on now, girl. What else I gotta do for you? Gave me, oh, oh, I see. Man, I've been nice to you now. Paid your rent. Ooh, 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 oh. Damn, the box is almost heavy as the dog on blue head. That's a thick box. Here we go. Here we go, family. I'm going to lean it a little bit more. Put this away so I don't lose it. Here we go. I don't do unboxings. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, you're beautiful. You're beautiful is true. When I saw your face. In a crowded place, and I don't know what to do. Cause I'll never be with you. Da 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 da. Ha ha da da da. Woo! Family, it's not as heavy as I thought. A lot of that was the box. What's in the box? That's what's in the box, baby. Ooh. 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 
Oh my goodness. It's about, it feel like about 40 pounds. 40 pounds of pure energy. And it's, it's all metal. That's not plastic. That's metal, family. You hear that? That's metal. This ain't cheap. The plastic is real thick. And it feels it feels like real. You know, you know, you know what quality plastic. These feel plastic, but they feel that thick, durable medical plastic. Like a, like a medical bed is made out of it. Ugh. I got four USB ports. I'm sure y'all been watching the videos. Uh, two, three, oh, all of them three amps. Oh, this is so beautiful. So this is what we gonna do. I'm gonna break this down. <sighs> I'm gonna stop here. And we gonna keep the blue eddy right here. So it's 16.2 kilograms like it said on the box lid. Okay, okay. All right, y'all. All right. So, lifting y'all back up. Let me tell you something. If you gonna get ready for the world, you better get ready for the world now. And you better do it the right way. And be... ABS, that's what it is. That's what it is. The ABS plastic. Get yourself together because your taxes is coming and maybe they might send out some more of that other money. Let me tell you something. Before you go out and buy them shoes and before you go out and buy the little fancy junk that you about to buy, people want to buy new gold teeth and stuff. Okay? Man, you better think about the Joker said it the best. Think about the future. We don't know what's coming next. Hey, Essie. Essie, you is who I'm looking for. I was going to comment on your video today. I'm waiting on you. Uh, I saw Homestead Heart came in. I ain't been able to comment back or nothing. Homestead Heart, everybody with these big homesteads and all these people staying in apartments, I'm telling you right now. Get your generator game. It ain't got to be a generator. Get your power game up. Because y'all got too much stuff to lose. Whether you, If you're in an apartment, it's even worse. I'm from the north too, so I know. Some of y'all got to come down elevators. And sometimes you ain't going to be able to get down them stairs. And I know, Essie, I know. Because I, you know what I thought? I thought about Essie, Essie the homesteader, my moderator. She said... What, what did Uncle Led do now? He got me spending too much money. He always got me spending too much money when you said that I was cracking up. But you know I don't steer you wrong. Now, only do this stuff for folks because y'all know we need, we need this stuff. Everything I show you, we need it. Don't be a want it, be a need. It's necessary. Okay? Yes, yeah, I know, Essie. I know this is a necessity. <laughs> no, you don't have to get a blue egg. No, you don't have to get a jackery. Everybody keep asking, which one should you get? You should just get one. Do your research and just get one. If you can't afford the one of your dreams, Homestead Heart in the house? Is she in here, Marmar? Homestead Heart. Essie, damn permaculture food for us. Damn, that looked like a good a good picture. Look like I'm all <sighs> turning into the hook. Ooh, that power game right there. Ooh. So, without further ado, we ain't done yet. I figured it like this. Homestead Heart. Sis, brother, <laughs> y'all got too much stuff to lose on that homestead, <laughs> okay? We are going to turn it on. Come on now, just listen, you, look, 
You you do it, you doing me like doing me like a stripper now. Come on, baby, take it off. Show me that power. Woo! Come on now. Give it to me. Come on. <laughs> Come on, leg. Show me that energy, baby. Give me. This. Let me slow down. This is my first night on stage. Okay, take it easy, Opie. Take it easy. I like take it slow. Slow down a little bit. Buy me a drink first. No, let's get going. I want the only reason I haven't cut it on yet, my friend, because I got a couple different things to show you. This is a real unboxing. Now, I figure if you're going to do it and you're going to spend the money and you're going to do it, you, you're breaking yourself anyway. Go all the way. This is for your safety. Like I keep telling y'all, this is about your safety. I'm not putting spinners on my Jeep. This is for my safety and for my family's life. So, I opted to get the solar panels too. Let's open the box. Ooh, babe. Ooh, tonight. Let's start our love again. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did it. So, I had to get the solar panels. I said I was going to wait. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Handle it. Whoever said that. Uh, I thought I seen somebody say troll alert. If so, aim for the head. Oh, ooh, yeah. All right. What's in the box, y'all? What's in the box? Let's get it. I ain't even gonna I ain't even gonna play with this one. Straight up. Oh. I don't wanna know who <laughs> you're playing me. Keep it on the low. Cause my heart can't. Take it anymore. Ooh, girl. Ooh, she got some big old legs on her paw. Look at her. Mm, yeah, I like her, boy. She's stout. <laughs> Just like your mama was. <laughs> she good and stout. I like that in a woman. Oh, looky there. Looky there. Not one, but two. Two. I said I'm doing it, doggone it. I'm going to do it. Going to do it. What did I tell y'all about uh, Teddy Pendergrad? Going to do it, going to do it, going to do it. Going to do it. Going to do it, going to do it, going to do it. So, I opted out. Come on, sucker, to get the solar panels too. So each one of these panels is 120 watts. The Blue Eddy can bring in 500 watts at one time. Thank you, Andale Homestead. No timeout. Aim right there. All right. Do you want to party? Do you want to dance? <laughs> Let's just get at it. I want to see this so bad. I've been waiting so bad, y'all. I'm trying to show you what to expect. Because everybody you see on YouTube with this stuff, we don't know them. We really don't visit their channels. We know each other, though. We're close. Greenhouse Lounge, family, for life. So you get to say, oh, I got a good friend that got one of those. Yeah, you... Oh... Family, look at here. Look at what we got here. Now, this is my first time ever seeing this too. Ever, ever. This is a family here, all right? And I'm showing you so we can all be knowledgeable. Oh. 
I don't know how to do unboxings and I don't know how to oh you oh you're beautiful your beautiful is true look at what we got here when I saw your face in a clouded place and I don't know what to do family I'm going to tell you I'm gonna show you something why I told you having a house system is great if you're trying to ease your bills but in an emergency it's not smart and I'm going to show you why the example I told you the other day trying to nail all that stuff on the board this is 120 watts worth of solar panel folded up, right? That big 40 pound monster, maybe even 50 pound, is only 45 watts. All of that is only 45 watts. It's 15 watts a piece. Each one of these panels, and it's three. 45 watts. So how many of those would you need? Look at this. Watch this. One. This is a 120 watt solar panel. And it weighs about. I'm going to say like three or four pounds. Not, not, not as much as a, a bag of sugar. You know. Let's open it. Let's open it and see exactly what we got. All right. Oh, it's so nice. Oh, I don't even know how to open it. Oh, can y'all see that? Yeah, okay, okay. Um, let me make sure. I... Oh, oh, look at that. It's button. You push a button and, and it let the clip loose. It's good and sturdy. I can't tell whether that's metal or plastic. The clips. Oh my God. Look, uh, I'm going to move the Blue Eddie for a minute. Oh, baby. Come on now. Oh. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm doing it right. Oh. Is he done? No. It's so it's so wide and beautiful, family. I don't even I can't even pan the screen big enough to show you. But I do want to show you how thin each panel is. This is my pinky nail. This is my pinky nail up close and personal. Okay? This is it. If my fingernail was a little longer, it would go over the top of that. See that? It's not going over the white part of my fingernail. That's how thin this panel is. And I just clipped that sucker too. See? That's how much white in my fingernail. The tip. Look. That's it. That's how thin it is. This. It's like a popsicle stick. Not even a popsicle stick. That's how thin this is. Let me stand back and see. So you face this up to the sun. Like so. And it got legs on the back. You did prop up so you can lean it back. Lean with it, rock with it. Let me get this stuff off the table. So we're going we're gonna to actually lean it back for you, okay? I know I'm not a professional at any of this right here. This is new technology to me. But I'm going to do my best to show it to y'all our way. I did it my way. Start spreading the news. I'm coming today. I wanna be a part of it. Now it's all stood up, y'all. 
New York, New York. I I can make it anywhere. It's up to you, New York, New York. Yes! Yeah! That's it, family. It's, it's wide, so it's about almost six feet wide. This is, uh, hold on, let me get a blow in. Okay. It's as, it's as wide as my arm span. And you get two of those. Two. All right. So. Okay. I'm going to fold this back up. I'm not going to open the other one. Because we don't need to see it. It's identical to this one. All right. So let's fold this back up. We ain't done yet. I'm going to try to keep this as short as possible. But y'all know that never works out well with me. And Homestead Heart. Essie the homesteader. These are two ladies that I adore. And I don't think they've got generators yet. And I know they're busy. Their families are very busy. But y'all know. Your brother ain't going to steer you wrong. You have a lot to lose. If your power goes out. Both of you. Both of you. That's it. And now, just to give you another piece of reference, watch this. This is your average. Oh, I got two, two pieces of. This is your average spiral notebook. You know, the kind is cheap. You get them at the beginning of school year. You have about 100 of them. They cost like a dollar 99 cent. Okay? This is it. That's the size of one. Now, it's literally thinner than that. Here's, a, a, here's the cords right here. Power cords to your panel to hook to the Blue Eddy. Ession Family Garden, what's up, my brother? There she is. Hey, honey. No, you can't sneak by. Come look at this. All right, all right. I know I'm excited. It's, it's like, I got it. It's my birthday. Woo! She sure is pretty. So I'm going to lock it back up. And, I, and uh, ooh, I, I'm out of words, y'all. I just don't have words for how much this, this is nothing. This is nothing what I expected. The panels are nothing like what I expected. Look, nothing. 120 watts in my palm of my hand. So when you go, you will have two of these in one hand, right? Emergency. And this in the other. Throw these in the car. Now watch this. Let me just show you how thin this is together. That's it. Come on now. That's it. This is the whole everything you need. And it's so beautiful and cold. So portable. So like I told y'all before. Everybody keeps saying they're very expensive. I, I, I don't see why you would pay that when it's cheaper to build a system. It's cheaper because you're paying for portability, mobility, and convenience. That's what you're paying for. Where you can pick this up and run and leave and your family will have power wherever you go. Look at this, baby. Wow. It sure is pretty. Very compact. I told look, look at the solar panel. Look, y'all gotta show Lady Lay real quick. Ooh, it's my toys. I feel like a big boy, mama. Uh oh. Okay. Look at the solar panel. I gotta do this again, y'all, real quick. I'm, I'm gonna bring y'all downstairs so y'all ain't gotta look at my goofy face. 
Look, hook pop. This is 120 watts. First, first feel how, how heavy it is. Up here, up here. No, pick it up. Hey, brother. That's light as a feather. <laughs> okay. Look at it. <clears throat> this is it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, huh? And it got legs on the back to plop it up. Boom. You was cold as ice. <laughs> what? Long ago. Baby, baby. Crank it up? Oh, now I'm about to. I'm about to. Oh, okay. Wasn't very, very, very nice, you know. Uh -oh. Sugar, sugar, sugar. <laughs> then I kissed your lips and you turned on my. Fire, <laughs> <laughs> baby. Then I show you what a love can do. I gotta, I gotta hit it with that sometime. Fire and desire, baby. All right, honey. All right, all right. I quit. I quit. I quit. Get that, get that thing off. Warm up. Warm up. <laughs> okay. Hear me coming through. Cause I want you, baby. Ugh. All right, all right, family. We seen enough. We seen the Blue Eddie. We seen the solar panel. Now, one more thing. Since I figured, we're gonna plug this up. So stick around for the plug in, okay? I figured this, I'm gonna run some tests. I'm gonna plug it up and I'm gonna let it charge all night because this is what we're gonna be using tomorrow night at the prepper party. Remember I said you can't plug nothing into the walls except your phone unless, unless you have portable power, whether it be a big battery bank like this or little ones like this. You have to, you cannot plug your phone. Only your phone can be plugged in the wall during the prepper party. Only whatever device we're watching each other on, that's it. Okay. Then I kissed your lips and you. I'm gonna move this Blue Eddie out the way. No, we ain't plugging it in now. Now look, look, there you go. Come on, show me some power, baby. Come on now, don't tease me. I'm running out of cash, baby. Come on now. I'm always in here taking care of you. Take it off. Plug it in. Wait a minute. Buy me another drink first. So, one more surprise. That's why I ain't plugged it in yet. The surprises ain't stopping, family. Let me tell you something. You helped me do this. You, you, watching me helped me do this. You understand? That's why this is special to me. Everybody that watches me on YouTube, everybody that purchases my plants, watches my nonsense, you helped me buy this. That's why it means so much to me. This is, this is like, this is extraordinary gold to me. So I want to say thank you, and that's why I'm dragging this out. This is, this is a major accomplishment for me. You look at the prices on this stuff. It's not cheap. I couldn't have done this by myself. You helped me do this. That's why I'm making a big deal about this. This ain't just I'm about to show you my new fishing pole. You dig? This is serious. Listen, you helped save my family's life. You that's watching me now, whether you like me or not, if you are watching me, you help me. So even the people that don't like me, thank you too. So thank you. Now, back to the show. One more surprise. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, I like me a stout, girl. You real. I like me one that boy keep you warm real tight. Now this is a major one, okay? 
Granny Karma in the house. Granny Karma, you too. Granny Karma Homestead, you next. But I think you already got some power sources because you got a lot of good toys over there at Granny Karma's Homestead. Y'all, let me tell you something. All these people in the house tonight, y'all write these names down and y'all go visit all these people that's in the house tonight. Go check out their channels. Everybody, all these names, go check them out. I'm telling you, 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 won't, be, you won't be sorry. It's a lot of great people in here tonight. Trust me. So let's get popping. All right. I'm going to move this out the way. One last one. Then we're going to start plugging stuff up. This is kind of like a birthday party. We ain't blowing the candles out yet. We got a couple more songs to play. All right. I'm not even going to tell you what this is. Oh, this is a, there's another one of them big old girls. I like me big old girl, Papa. Say, boy, you keep on bringing them big girls in here. They, they, I love them, Papa. They keep me warm. She says she loves me, Pa. She told me she loves me. She just wants your money. She know I ain't got no money, Pa. She know I got a gambling problem. <laughs> she love me anyway. Stay out of my life. Let's get this going. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. I'm grown, Paul. Well, get your grown tail out of here with your big scout girl. You'll be coming home soon. As <laughs> soon as you out of cash. That girl's gonna eat. You gonna pay for it. Another box inside of a box. Let's get at it. All right, I'm gonna tell you something. These products, they ain't playing with their shipping. I'm a, oh my goodness. A box inside of a box inside of foam. All right, all right, I'll play. I'll play with you, baby. Ugh. Come on, come on, girl. Don't be shy now. I ain't gonna hurt you none. Uh, I need a, another set of hands. These boxes ain't no joke. It's like you can, I've turned that into a clubhouse. If my kids were still little, they could turn that into a clubhouse. All right, we got a lot of foam I think I better bring this up here. Y'all already see what else I bought? I did this, and trust me, I'm broke, and I sold a lot of things to do this. I did this to go with the Blue Eddy. And I'm going to give this to the credit of this to everybody, and I kept saying, no, no, that's that's dumb, you don't need that, until I got all of your beautiful emails and said, yes, you do, Led. My husband is on medication. We have to keep this cold for X, Y, Z. Open your mind. I'm thinking, a refrigerator like this? No, the world has changed everybody. The world is different. Technology is new. This is a 12 volt that you plug in your car lighter or your solar panel generators. It's a refrigerator freezer. It's not a cooler. It's a refrigerator freezer. So, you go check it out. All the videos gonna tell you. It'll be 101 in Arizona if you ask the guy with the beard. I can't say his name. It'll be 100 and something degrees outside and it's below zero inside of this freezer. He got it sitting in the sun. Let's go. I, Lady Les stood it up right because it say this, this way up. So this gonna be a little clumsy because I don't want to I don't want to disturb the refrigerant 
So it's gonna be hard for me to get this out, so bear with me, okay? We plugging this up. This is where the plugins start now. Okay. Alright. I'm gonna be easy. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so pretty, y'all. Uh, let's see if I can. Uh, uh, uh. Like Chinese water torture. Look at that sucker. You see that? Look at that. All right. Yeah, there's four boxes and two items. All right. It got it facing the wrong way. I'm going to turn it around this way so you can read it just like I can. This is the Bouge RV. Bouge RV. Yeah, I know the name is crazy. The Bouge RV refrigerator cooler. No, I'm sorry. Refrigerator freezer. Not a cooler. This is my first time touching it. My first time anything. This is all of our first. I've only seen, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, y'all? Uh, Hobo. Hobo Tech, I've only seen him do it and he keeps one of these. He's very impressed. This is magnet. You see that? The lid is magnetized and it's hard to pick up. This is what's inside. And it's deeper than I thought. It's about, this is the... Um, I got the 30 quart. I got the 30 quart so I can just pick this up and refrigerate important things. This slides out because when you slide this in, one zone will freeze and this zone will refrigerate. Or you could just take this all the way out and let the whole thing freeze. Now my whole arm is in here. Or you can let the whole thing refrigerate. It's a nice size. Matter of fact, this is what we're going to do, family. Together, we're going to... Uh, let me back this up. Hold on. We're going to... I'm going to put some stuff in here that you recognize so you get an idea of how deep it is. Because that's the problem that I had with the video. Nobody would put stuff in there that I that I recognize. So uh, I'm gonna try to find something. Uh let me see. Okay, I got I got a couple things here. I got a couple things. Yeah, this is perfect. This is perfect. And I hope it go in here. So for the first test just to show you what can fit in here. Nobody ever does this. I don't know why. If you can it, which you better be canning, Homestead Heart, Granny Karma in the house, Essie in the house, if y'all been learning how to can from these ladies, you know what that is. So, this is a full quart jar. Bring it over here. Here's another one. So I could get about, it looked like I could get about one, two, going this way, two and a half, maybe two and maybe a little pint, half pint, and this way, two, three, maybe, maybe, no, so three and three quarters that way. And two and a, just say two and a half this way. So that's a lot of space. But to give you a better idea, if you have not started canning yet, which you should, and if you have a shame on you, everybody know what a gallon of water or a gallon of milk is. I can fit two gallons of milk, two quarts. And then you still got all this top space here. 
to refrigerate or freeze at, at, at your will. And yes, it closes perfectly. This is exactly what I wanted. I didn't want the gigantic one. That's it was, it was a f uh, either 53 or 63 cord. I couldn't remember. But I didn't want that one. I, I just don't have a use for anything that big yet. This will keep all of the things I need to keep cold or frozen. So that is so awesome, family, that now I'm going to plug it up. Excuse me. I'm going to do this. I'm going to put this back in here. I'm going to start plugging everything up now. As soon as I figure out how to plug it up. I'm going to leave that open. Okay, here's the plug right here. I've seen this enough on the videos. We're going to just bypass the reading and the instructions, you can do that if you get one. This will give me good reading material for the rest of my weekend. But this is what's in the, in the uh, instruction pack. <clears throat> you got some extra feet for the bottom in there. We ain't gonna mess with them yet. Hold on. Mm, my allergies is kicking like chicken. You got some instructions, instructions, and you have your connector, your wires, where you can either look at that. You can connect that straight into the power source right there. Thank you, Deshaun. What was that? So if if you for your new jackery. You know what? I'm gonna write that down. I, I, I thank you because I am literally, truly gonna put that towards it. Deshaun, thank you, my brother. I promise I'm gonna put it towards it. I promise. And I'm gonna say your name when I do it. Thank you. I mean it too. Thank you. So, all right, that's the cord to plug it in to your power source. And I'm hoping it's a wall charger in here too. Yes, yes it is. Oh, that's a big old boy. Right there. So let's get it plugged in and start refrigerating. They say you need to let it go for about 12 hours. Six to 12 hours, something like that. <clears throat> and I'm just going to, matter of fact, let me get an extension cord because it's a lot of stuff I can get plugged in right now. Hold on, give me two ticks. Plug it in. All right. All right. My bad. Somebody was calling. But as I was trying to get my phone cut back on, everybody said, no, don't do it yet. The monitor is in the closet. Come on, cut that crap out. It froze because somebody started calling me. I had a spam call. Wait. Everybody is saying no. Is the jacket Oh, okay. I see. I see what that is. Hold on. STK, you trying to get your TGM plug that up? 
Okay. The refrigerant. The refrigerant. No. I told y'all that already. You I'm going to say this. I'm glad that you warned me. But. Nope. Family. It's been sitting. They delivered this. They delivered my this refrigerator this morning at 7.30 in the morning. When I showed that video, it's not too late. I haven't plugged anything up. They, Lady Leia brought it in the house. It's been sitting all day. It only need to sit for six hours. It's been way over six hours. It's literally been over 12 hours. See, I only let y'all see a little bit. I edited it as much as I could while I was on my break. But I told Lady Led through that, through the uh, security, make sure, because on the box, it says this end up. It was this end up. And I even said, let me pull it straight up out of here because Lady Led had it straight up and I don't want to mess up the refrigerant. Ooh, y'all have me scared. I'm like, wait a minute. Did I have to defuse a bomb or something? But no, don't say sorry. Don't say sorry. Because you was looking out for a brother. Y'all know sometimes I go to cutting up and I ain't paying no attention. So thank you. Don't say sorry for warning me. No, even though I knew what I, I had got. Y'all know me good enough by now to be like, man, y'all better tell him something. Somebody better tell him something. He about, he about to mess it all up. We good, though. Let's go. Let's go. I'm watching y'all, family. I'm watching y'all. Thank you so much. Whew. Made me nervous. All right. Here we go. It's the first plug in. Y'all ready? Here we go. Got some juice. Put him in the box. Uh-oh. Looky what we got here. Let's see. All right. Here we go. You can see it. Hold it down. There it is. Okay, it's saying it's 63 degrees in there. 32. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to. I want it to go down to. Oh, listen, listen. Wait, I'm going to cut my other ice maker off. Listen. You can't hear nothing. It's whisper quiet. That's the part I want. It's at three. I got it at zero degrees. Do you hear how quiet it is? I'm gonna bring the phone really close so you can hear this compressor. Listen. sleep right next to this and be good. Yeah, 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 that's gonna work. That's gonna work. That's gonna work out. That's gonna work out. It's so quiet. I don't even want to open the door. Thank you, Jay, uh, Jazz Wade. Everybody just doing that tonight. I'm going to write your name down while I'm looking at yours right now. Uh, thank you so much. Jazz Wade. Thank you. Because that's going on the list. Thank you so much. I mean it. Uh, We're going to call it the jackpot. 
Jackery Jackpot. There we go. Thank you. So, Led, where did you get the extension cord from? Uh, Sam's Club, I think it was. Either, yeah, Sam's Club. It was like $29. That's dope too, ain't it? I've been here. I had that maybe a few weeks. Because I was looking at generators and seeing that. And I was like, oh, oh, that's going to be nice. So how many quarts is it? It's 30 quarts. It's the 30 quart. It's Bouge RV. Uh, what time is the prepper party? 8 o'clock. I'm going to start. 8 o'clock. So. I'm going to keep on going so we can finish this up in some kind of decent time, but still get an idea of what's going on. My water is in, in the refrigerator, refrigerating right now. So I'm going to set this to the side. This ain't like one of the ones you get at the truck stop. This is the real deal, Holyfield, right here. So I'm going to try to gently... The feet got plungers on it. I don't want to disturb the refrigerant. or the compressor. So I'm gonna put the plugs down here. All right. There you go, family. We got the refrigerator. We got the power. Thank you, that guy from Texas. I got you, brother. Thank you so much. You the man, you the man. I appreciate you. That guy. Thank you, brother. Thank you. But we ain't done yet. We ain't done. Because we got to plug this Blue Eddy up. You all ready to plug up this Blue Eddy? I'm going to bring you down a little bit for this one. Because now that everything is out the box, we can bring it down to ground level a little bit, okay? Thank you. So who was that? Thank you so much, Myra McClain. Thank you, Myra. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to write that down too. Let me get that. Thank you, babe. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to make sure. I'm going to make sure I say your name. Thank you so much. To who is that? Nina Thomas. Thank you so much, Nina. I'm writing this stuff down, y'all. Because I promise to you. We gonna do this together. We doing this together. I promise. Thank you, Nina. All right, we gonna put the solar panels over to the side. I'm gonna lay that down so I don't mess it up. And let's get this blue eddy plugged in. Oh, come on, girl. Thank you so much. Thank you, Rucker. And th come on, y'all. Thank you so much. Let me see. Thank you so much. Thank you, Emil. Thank you. I'm gonna put that on Neil. I'm gonna come back and look at anybody I missed, but I promise you, and I'm gonna try to pronounce your name the best of <laughs> my ability. Okay, thank you so much. And thank you, Rucker. Thank you, my friend. I don't wanna forget, cause I'll be so busy. I'm going to take time out, though. For, you took time out for me. I'm going to take time out for you. I missed one. I missed this one. What was that? Thank you, uh, Robin Caesar. Thank you, Robin Caesar. Thank you. God bless you. Robin Caesar. Caesar. Thank you. Because I can't wait to show it to you. Thank you. Oh, Nina Thomas. That was you, Nina. Thank you, Nina. And who is this with a puppy dog? Wait a minute. I hit something. Oh, Myra McClain. Thank you. Thank you, Rhonda Oki. Thank you, R. Oki. Thank you. I see you, little sis. I see you. I caught that. Thank you, R&B Homestead. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. You guys are awesome. So thank you for everything, Lynn. No, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Katina Brooks. I appreciate you. I really do. 
trying to write as fast as I can. Thank you for me to see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, everybody. Thank you so much. It was one I missed. Two percent. You gone, girl. Thank you, little sis. I am going to make sure I write all of this stuff down. So when I when I do announce it finally, I'm going to let you know. And I'm going to, this is going to, I might even have everybody autograph the damn thing. Two percent. Thank you. Oh, that would be awesome. I wish I could have everybody just sign it. Thank you. Let's get to it, y'all. Thank you so much. That, oh, so that's going to work. That's really going to help. Thank you, Aunt uh, Ford Barbecue. Y'all and all these people that's doing this and, and these donations, please go check out their channels. Thank you so much, y'all. Thank you, H. Elizabeth. Thank you, H. Elizabeth. Because I promise you, I got to figure out a way so y'all can autograph it. Thank you, Helen Lee Saban, Sab Sabatini. I hope I didn't burn that down. I think I did, though. Thank you, Helen. Thank you so much. Y'all too much, man. Thank you so much. And it was, I missed one. Ant Ford Barbecue, my man Ant Ford. There we go. I didn't want to miss him. Uh, th uh, thank you, C. Steven, uh, the HOA homesteader. Thank you so much. Thank you, C. Steven. Y'all killing me. You know what? I got to figure out a way. Thank you, Chris Cotel. <laughs> Thank you. Y'all killing me, man. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Hands in the Dirt. Man, I appreciate you, man. Man, thank you. And it was Chris Cotel, too. Dog Grant. Thank you, Dog Grant. Y'all, y'all listen. <laughs> y'all working, y'all working it up. I forgot to put dog. I just put Grant. No, that's Dog Grant. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of this from y'all. I really do. We do this together. Thank you, Aisha. Said first time in a live chat. I appreciate you, led you good peoples. You must be from up north with me. You're like my favorite cousin, but you just don't know. You just don't know me. You know what? I think we know each other better than you think. Some people need to think about that sometime. I think we know each other better than you think. You, you know what? I had a person a long time ago say, these people don't mean nothing to you. They're just people on the internet. That's not true. If you can touch somebody... In any kind of way, if you can help them or change their life, you do you really got to touch them? A good movie makes you cry. A scary movie makes you scared. It's not real, though. It's as real as you let your mind make it. Because at night, that scary movie going to give you nightmares. Right? And that good movie going to have you thinking and changing your lifestyle up a little bit. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Charlotte, let me back up. Y'all clown. Thank you, Yvonne Fatten. Thank you, Aisha. Thank you so much. Look, y'all got me turning the page, family. Turning the page. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Yvonne Fatten. McFadden. I always call you Fatten. McFadden. I got a friend named McFadden, and I always thank you, uh, Gibbs Sonar One. Thank you so much, Gib. Man, thank you so much. Y'all just don't know. When I do it, I'm going to announce it. I'm going to announce when it's time we're going to get it. 
give, I want to make sure I spell your name right. So, LR1. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Uh, let me see. Thank you, uh, the blackest beauty. Thank. Oh, there you go. What's going on, the blackest beauty? I ain't seen you in a minute. Thank you, little lady. Thank you. Think, did you change your name? I think so. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Charlotte 36, thank you so much. 36, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Ohima. Ohima 33. Ohima, Ohima. Ohomawe, Ohomawe 33. <laughs> thank you so much. I appreciate you, okay? Thank you so much. Hey, what's next? Hey, little lady, what's going on? Howard, thank you so much. I'm always watching you and getting mad because I can't eat that delicious food you making. Thanks, say, hey, Led, you deserve it. You do too, sis. Thank you. We all do. We all do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, hey, Jay, what's next? I can't believe you here. Thank you so much. I'm a, I'm a, uh, thank you, Alicia G. Thank you, Alicia G. I got to figure out a way. Hey, babe. I'm about to figure it out. That's my brains right there. Thank you so much, Alicia G. Say you are an awesome person with a great heart and sense of humor. You know what? I can't get through this life without it. I can't get... I'm going to ask her how I can figure this out. Because she can fix... She works on these little technical stuff. Thank you, Demetra Smith. Thank you. I need your help. I need your assistance real quick. Um, thank you, Demetra Smith. My family is donating to me I, like crazy. The love is pouring in like... Bananas. Come, I need you. Come here. Come here. You're beautiful enough. You're beautiful. Come here. I told you, son. Just keep the cover on you. Come on now. You're beautiful, baby. I just want to show the people. Come here, because I need your help. I really do. Come here. I need your help. There's not many pathways. I know, man. I got stuff what plugged in. Girl. Look at this. Look at what the family done did for me. Thank you, Myra oh, Lane. Bless y'all. Thank you, Gary Barkley. Hey, Thank you, Shonda's Real Food and Drinks. She said, I enjoy the midday video showing the excitement and enthusiasm, like uh, turning into a uh, visit always. Thank you so much. Just simply joyful living. Thank you. Say, we want to bless you. Thank you. Till you cry. <laughs> uh, Y'all ain't going to see my gangster leak. I'm already crying from the pollen. <laughs> Giselle Moore, thank you so much. So, thank you so much. Uh, groovy green thumbs. Hey, groovy green thumbs. Groovy thumb. green thumbs. Thank you, said the man. Your knowledge is truly appreciated. Thank you so much. I'm just glad that it can help anybody. Demetrius Smith, thank you, said keep up the blessings. From Ohio. Hey, hey Ohio. Ohio. Well, home, yeah, Our home hometown. State. Yeah, home, home state. There you go. Thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. So, what I want to do. Everybody say, hey, Lady Lynn. Hey, thank you, hey, T. Pitts. Got me looking all Man, sweet. would y'all tell her she beautiful? My baby, beautiful. Come on, let me see your little face. See your little face. She beautiful. She always talk about some, oh, I look awful. I half sleep. But I wanted you. Thank you, little mountain gardener. Thank you, Candace Skelton. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's she beautiful. Thank you, Selena uh, Nick Entry. You know how to pronounce this stuff really good with your teacher skills. What? Your teacher skills. Uh, Thank you, Change to Transform. Thank you, Change to Transform. Thank you, Transform. Change to Transform. And thank Aww. you for everything you do. I salute you. Thank you so much. Aww. Thank you, you guys. I, I promise you. This is what I want to do. Here's what I, I want to do. 
-hmm. I want to see if you can make it happen. Thank you, Flamingo Fly. Thank you, Stardust. Aww. I want to see. I'm going to get the new Jackery. Okay. I want all of these people's some kind of way to sign it. Hmm. I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do that either. But what your you brain, about? your brain be making it work, man. Huh? Thank you, uh, uh, Jay Sat. What is that? I can't see it up close. Jay J.K. Sat. J.K. Sat said, I think you have convinced me. I'm starting with the 500. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you, Myra McLean. Thank, you, Thank Myra. you, Myra McLean. Thank you. It's like um, NJB, NJ6B, <laughs> my ch church temple of prayer represent. Uh, represent. Thank you, Rhonda. I see you in there, Rhonda Peterson. Thank you so much. Oh, my God. Thank you so much. Thank you for this family. Y'all, <laughs> they, they, they want to see a good belief. <laughs> I want them to fig I want to figure out a way to put their names on this equipment when I get it. Okay, so you got to ask me when my brain is woke of how to What are you talk about like vinyl or what? I don't care about? how it's going on, but I want all of these they bought this. They're going look at what they're doing. Okay. I want their names on that new jacket. All how over it. Is it? It's about the size of this, Blue Eddie. Okay. And I want each one of their names on here, whether they like me or not. Oh, if, so you don't mean sign. You uh, just want their name. I wish I could get that. Now, their, that's doable. If we can get their names on there any kind of way, who was that? Thank you so much, Gina Wilde. Thanks, the, <laughs> Jackery Jackpot. She said, Gorgeous, <laughs> the Jackery Jackpot. Thank you so Jackery much. Pot. And I'm, I'm messing with my tissue. Thank you. Said make sh make shirts with all the names on it. That's even smarter. Hmm. Okay. I love that idea. Who just said that? Who just said that? Go back up. Gray be gray bays. Gray I bays. I my glasses on. Here. Got me. Write her name down. That's insanely dope. Gray. Bays, don't. I'm not gonna kick you off, baby. Gray bays. Thank you, Nana Thank City you. Farms. Thank you, Nana City Farms. Uh, shirts. I hey, am garden sewing. Thank you so much, cause I am going to do that. Jackery jackpots, and what I'm gonna do is we gonna make some shirts. And I want everybody's name to donate it for that on there. Okay. Everybody. I don't want to miss nobody. I'm going to go back and look at this video. And I want every single person on that shirt. And I want their names on that blue. I mean, that on that jacket. Okay. Please, honey. I had to, I had to stop the man. <laughs> so who was the, who just said that? Uh, mm -hmm. They can send a pic of their names and email it then. The only thing is, it, it may not cut right with actual names, but I can do fonts because I can make the font big. But I can't do it with signatures. It'll be too tiny. Well, okay, just, just, I want names. I want people to be able to see those names. I got a big billboard. I want to be able to for everybody to see. <laughs> Somebody said print out the live chat and put it on the shirt. <laughs> I wish I could. I wish I could. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Oh, thank you thank so much. Y'all rock. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, uh, thank you artistic artistic kitchen. kitchen. Hey, Artistic Kitchen said thank you for everything. You guys oh. have a wonderful heart. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry, Emma. Yeah, that's going to be a lot of weedy. Hey, Chris. Yes. Oh, hey, Chris. So, okay. Y'all want to plug in the Blue Eddie now? Since y'all <laughs> try to make me cry. <laughs> okay. All right, you got to write them all down. I'm, I'm doing job. my best. I'm well, doing my best. I can't write like, look. You know, oh, I can't oh, move oh, my carpet oh, tunnels. Just take screenshots. <laughs> Thank you, uh, KR. 
krob257. Thank you so much, my friend. I'm doing said, Lady Led needs a cup of tea. You need a cup of tea, they said. You don't need a cup of sleep, honey. Just some tea. She I said. Need a cup of scamps. No, you don't I need a cup of. Scamps. No, not a cup of scamps. scamps. That's not gonna happen yeah. sleeping next to me. No, that's not gonna happen. So, thank you, uh, Diamond in the Rough. Thank you so much. I'm going to plug this in so y'all can at least see this thing light up, okay? Thank you, uh, Naraya. Uh, nope. Not, not Daria. Not, see, she can pronounce this stuff better than me. Uh, I don't want to butcher your name, but thank you, Nadara, Nadara M. I'm so sorry if I tore your name up. It's beautiful, I'm sure. And I, I, I've messed that all up. Thank you so much, though. Thank you, guys. Yeah, that's my baby. That's a big power pack, family. Thank you so much, everybody, for everything you do. Thank you so much. I'm doing my best to be a better person. You see where I came from. It's, it's, I still got a little... Still got a little in me, but I'm trying. I'm trying to be a good guy. Thank you so much, uh, Pearl's little angel. Said planting a seed towards your jackery, the jackery jackpot. Thank you so much. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna spend the rest of my night writing all of these new names down. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> let's let's plug her in. As you can see, we don't need this yet. Here's some more solar plugs, power plugs. We ain't gonna mess with that. Hook up to the panels. Thank you so much, sisters. Ant, Ant for barbecue. Thank you, man. I appreciate you. I see you. I'm not gonna read it out loud, but thank you so much. Yes, Ant for barbecue. I'm going to talk to you because I see what you're saying. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Uh, okay. Hold on. Mm, running out of snack. I don't want to dehydrate just out of my nose. Okay. Thank you, Zach Price. Say enjoy your harvest, brother. Reap what you sow. I'm trying to, I'm trying to sow some half decent seeds. <laughs> I'm trying. And that's right. Guava. So thank you, Jay uh, Allen Gory. Said, we appreciate you and your time, bro. Thank you. Thank you so much. Guava. Damn permaculture fool for it, man. Thank you, bro. Thank you for everything. Nicole Lewis, thank you so much, family over there. Thank you. Thank you, dog Grant. Amen to you, too. Thank you. I'm going to keep this rocking so I don't keep y'all here all night. Have Give y'all another three-hour video. Y'all know I can't help myself. You know I can't help myself. Uh, let me see. Don't. Let me see. I don't like that feeling with my sinuses. Yeah, I've been dealing with it my entire life. Thank you, Aroki. Guava sister. I've been dealing with my whole life. Thank you, Vicky Owens. Thank you so much. I will. I promise you that. Thank you so much, G. Jones. <laughs> Y'all killing me. Y'all killing me. I'm, I'm going to go show my mama. That's what I'm going to do. Y'all got me to the point. Thank you, uh, Eyes to See. I like that 3333. She said, thank you so much for all you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you, Nevada Greenish Thumb. Appreciate all the knowledge. Thank you so much. I'm doing everything I could possibly do. I figure, I figure like this. Thank you, main course encouragement. Thank you, family. If something were to happen today, God forbid, if something were to happen, I know how to survive. I know how to survive. 
But I always be thinking like, man, I don't want to survive by myself. I'm a people person. And even if I was the only one to survive, I would probably die of loneliness. I want people around me. So how do you do that? Thank you, she said that TV. Thank you. How do you do that? You can't feed everybody. You can't bring everybody to your camp and try to feed them. You can't bring them to your camp and try to protect them. What can you do? Right here. If you share your knowledge, everybody else can survive too. Everybody else, that's how they find survivors all the time. Because somebody else knew how to do this too. That's what I try to share. If I tell you what I know, that means now you know how to do that and make it out alive. No matter what happens, whether it's just a power outage, bad water, or stuff gets stinking real bad. So that's what I'm trying to show. I'm just showing you what I know and what I find out and what I learn. I figure if I spread that around, I won't, I won't have to try to feed you. You'll be able to, if anything, we'll be able to help each other in a bad situation. God forbid it go down. Thank you, uh, Electrical Storm. Thank you so much. No, you amazing. Thank you, Keith Elijah. So thank you for all this knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. And see, some people, they go over to Patreon and get Patreon things. And some people say like and subscribe. I just want to hear, have some knowledge. If I want to make money, I sell some stuff. But all that, the knowledge part, have you ever seen, thank you so much, uh, them grow, them grow cries say, Led, you've been giving us game for a long time and I appreciate you, Lady Led. Thank you so much, them grow. Thank you. Tell you, some of the best knowledge you get is when people just run in their mouth. When people is talking to you like this and telling you what you should do, you don't never really learn nothing. But you sitting at a bus stop, sucking on a lollipop. <laughs> but if you sitting at a bus stop or you at you catching the Greyhound somewhere, you on a, fl a plane flight, the person is getting on your nerves, you know something? You'll never forget them. Even though you wish they shut up so you can get some sleep on your flight. For some reason, you never forget that person, even when they talking crazy, because between the crazy, it'd be a little something in there. Either they giving you a sign of something or they just kicking some real knowledge to you. Am I lying about it? Think about it now. Some people tell you their life is horrible and they don't know what they're going to do next. They just rambling on. And when you get off their flight, you're like, I think that dude, I think he was trying to tell me he want to hurt himself. No, nah, I couldn't be. You put that on your mind, you're going to be thinking that for the rest of your life. Quick quick plane flight, two-hour flight, but you'll never forget that guy. You'll be telling your kids about that guy, right? Thank you so much. It's the truth. I've caught a lot of greyhounds, and I got some stories. You hear me? From people I wish would get off. Is this your stop, sir? You, is you getting off in Kentucky? God, please get off in Kentucky. They never get off. They the ones that end up coming back late for the bus and the bus driver about to pull off. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Oh, here he come. That's the dude sitting next to you, but he gonna be spitting mad knowledge to you even though you want some sleep. Thank you so much. I'm that guy. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, man. Y'all killing me. Thank you, main encouragement. Thank you so much. I seen another one too. Uh, Shy Jim Dropper, thank you so much and thanks for being you and thank you for hanging out with me. I promise you, thank you so much. Let's plug her in. I got the box. I'm going to plug this in. The barrel hole. That don't sound right, do it? R. Oki said, you're listening. My ear saved some right. <laughs> We're going to plug it in. This sucker heavy, y'all. Now, I, I ain't going to lie to you about that. This is solid. This is not a joke. This is not a little play toy. Nothing about this says uh, preschool on it. Nothing. Nothing. This is not for kids to be messing around with. 
in any way, form, or fashion. Thank you so much, Lady Andrea B. So you and Lady Lynn deserve the best. Thank you so much. Thank you. I just want to let you know it's just going to come right back to you. I promise you that. Thank you, Burt Richardson. You the man. Keep pushing. Just logging in. I'm late to the party. No, you ain't, man. You know what? I'm going to be honest with you. This was a great night. This was a historical night because I'm doing something, man, and showing everybody. Y'all know me. So you can say, man, my, my friend led, man. He showed me this is the one. And I just want to get the other one so I can show you that's the one. These people ain't endorsing me. I spent my money on that. Thank you so much, uh, Yasmin Event. Say, uh, hey, Lear Farmer 73. I'm new to your channel and I've been having a good time. Thanks for sharing your knowledge. Thank you so much. Because we always have a good time here in the Greenhouse Lounge. Okay, that's the first plug, family. I'm going to the floor. I'm going to the floor. Let's see how it... And then when I, when I get this going, we're going to check on this, this freezer just to be playing around. Uh, take me to your leader. That's what it looked like it's about to say. Uh, wait a minute. I want to crack this rank. There we go. Look at that thing. Let me lift it up so you can see. You can't even see the screen is so bright. Future so bright. It gotta wear shades. It gotta wear shades. I'm going to, this is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to unplug it. We're going to cut it on and see how much juice it got in it so we can see the real readout. This takes about, with it plugged in the wall, that's the part I was telling y'all. With it plugged in the wall, I think he said it take like 8 to 12 hours. That's how big the battery is. With this big mama jamma. But it charges even faster, way faster with the solar panels. It's better to charge it with the solar panels. I don't know. I'm not an electrician. All I know is everybody keeps saying it charges way faster with the solar panels. The Jackery too. So let's cut this bad, this bad boy out. Y'all so awesome, man. Oh, he said, hold it. There it is. Oh, that thing almost full. See that? Oh, somebody put up the shades. You caught that song I was singing. Caught that song. Let me get my little snot rag out the way. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see. Home. Thank you, uh... Oh, uh, Essie. Thank you, Essie. Little Queen Essie. That's my sister right there. But yeah, it says no input. DC off. AC off. But it's, it's like almost all the way charged. It got like a bar. Maybe a bar to go. So, thank you, whole new perspective. Thank, thank you, Lady Led. Uh, let me see. What was that? Whole new perspective. Say thanks for all you and Lady Led do. It's been fun. The, listen, this ride ain't over yet, baby. We are in this to win it. So what we're going to do, I think I cut it back off. That's where we are. Say my Jackery 300 was 83% 80, charge. Thank you, uh, Sharonda Shaw. Said thanks for all you do. Thank you so much for the Jackery jackpot. Man, thank you so much. That's awesome. Thank you. So I got one last little thing. I want to test it out. Does anybody have this before I go any further? Does anybody have one of these? A Blue Eddie? Uh, in Indo says Blue Eddy EB150 is that heavy? Yes, it is. It's about 40 pounds. 
Okay, Robert Jackson. Is it okay to, to put a load on it right now? They say it cuts off if you don't put a load on it. Can you charge it with solar? Yes, I got solar panels with it. You missed that. You're going to have to see the beginning of the video. I'm telling you, it's going to blow your mind. This is a long video, but this one is chock full of nuts. And let me watch my mouth. It's got a lot of good stuff in it. Is it the EB240? No, this is the this is the 1500. Uh, Dana Eli say, oh, Endo says, yes, let's do it. So I bought something to test it out. Nothing crazy, just something that we was all worried about, right? Hey, Ken Ken, something we was all worried about. One was refrigeration. Now that I got knowledge that refrigeration is actually doable, our blue uh, bouge, bouge RV refrigerator freezer, it, it don't feel like nothing out here. I'm gonna open it. We're gonna open it in a minute. I don't wanna I don't wanna mess it up. It say now it was 63 degrees when we just first plugged it up, right? It's 40 degrees now. It has dropped 23 degrees since we plugged it in. Can y'all see that? You probably can't. Come on, let's go hard in the paint. It's down to 40 degrees, y'all. In that short of time. Now I put it on zero. Thank you, Leslie Gardner. I see you for the Jackery jackpot. Thank you, sweetheart. Thank you. So the Bouge RV dropped 23 degrees in just this little bit of time. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna get over here. And I'm going to do this last little quick unboxing. I told you I had some stuff for you. Where'd it go? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. One last thing. Let me make sure I ain't... Okay. I ain't even going to tell you what this is. I'm just going to show you. Because I want to see for myself. Nothing crazy. From Amazon. I got an Amazon product. Because it was one of their own products. One of their exclusive bestsellers. And everybody was like, Leg, how you gonna stay cool in that tent, man? How you gonna refrigerate stuff, Leg? I, I ain't gonna refrigerate nothing. I'm a gangster. I don't, I don't gotta worry about no refrigeration. Leg, how you gonna warm up? Get some cover, sucker. Cuddle. So, I figured something else out. This is my own idea. Thank you, uh, Be the Gift. A little 500 watt desk heater, like an office heater. This will heat you up in a very small space or like a tent with an automatic shut off on it. This is an Amazon's Basics exclusive. It only cost me like 15, I think it was 15 bucks, maybe 20 bucks. On and off switch. It ain't no whole bunch. It's just on and off. And an emergency. If you kick this over while you in a tent, it's going to cut off. If you let off of that, look. If you let off that button, when it's down, it's like that. When you let off, if that happened, the whole fan will cut off. So we're going to try it out. We're going to put our very first load on our Blue Eddy 1500 with an Amazon Basics 500 watt heater. This is a 1500 watt uh, power station. So this should have no problem at all with this. Are we ready? Trust me, this heater is the truth. I'm going to put it in the link below too when I'm done. Oh, the thing about the Blue Eddy that I didn't like. The plugs, uh, the plugs are around the back. The USBs is in the front. They had that. They should have put those plugs in the front. I don't understand why they did that. Um, I don't get that. Everything should have been on one side. So anyway, let's get it going. Y'all ready? I got it off. 
I'ma cut this on. I don't even know if I gotta cut it on. Oh, DC on or AC on. There we go. Let's cut AC on. <laughs> Sorry about that, it's gross. I'ma cut AC on. AC is on. I just plugged it in. Let's go. Ready? I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to give a readout of, of the watts and everything that is, is draining too. The volts. Here we go. I'm going to turn it so you can see it better. You can't hardly see that. It's so bright. Here we go. I don't hear nothing. It don't move no more, mama. Let's try this. I should be hearing something. Thank you, Elena. Say, God bless you. You remind me of my uh, grandma used to do, and thank you, I enjoy your lives. You. You my fake uncle. <laughs> Send you love. You and Lady Love lay in love. Thank you so much, Elena. Thank you so much. Okay, family. Y'all gonna have to help me out. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Look, you big dummy. The safety. So let's cut that back off. Here we go. Here we go. Right, the safety button. You big dummy. Hear it? I got my finger on the safety button. It's working and it's hot, baby. Already. Listen. Five hundred watts of heat. That's plenty of heat. No, I don't have to set it down as long as I hold this button. Now it has a a readout on the front. And it says I'm pulling 453 watts. I, I, I'm going to set this down so we can, I can get you closer so we can see the readout. Ooh, that's good and hot, fam. Hey, frugal nurse homestead. There you go. There you go. I'm with you. I got you, sis. All right. So I'm going to bring y'all down so we can see this a little closer. We all doing this for the first time together, family. I know we watch a lot of people on these videos. We don't know them, but we know each other. So this is like we all experimenting together without looking too stupid, okay? There's the wattage. I hope it ain't backwards. There's the wattage right there. It's, dra it's drawing only 457 watts. With this heater running. Oh, I put the safety off again. You see that? When it stopped, it go back to zero. Four hundred and fifty-three watts. Can everybody see that okay? I want to make sure you see it. There we go. That's a little better angle. The fan on the jackery on the back is running cool air. Oh, you can't get no better than this. Hey, look. Let's get all the way funky with it. We got juice now, baby. So my phone battery just uh, came on talking about it's about to die. So I keep moving this heater. So I'm going to plug my heater in and my phone. No. Nope. Oh, 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 because you got to have, uh, let me see. Will it do both at the same time? Yes, it will, baby. It's only pulling six watts to charge my phone. So my phone is charging here. My heater is on here. We are 
We are in business. Now, mind you, I'm about to get, we going to run a one of them tests like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, What's his name? What's Doug on name? Uh, Hobo Tech. We going to run a Hobo Tech video. Just shout out to Hobo Tech. We going to run our own ghetto tech. <coughs> okay. Uh, test. So what I'm going to do right now, all it'll do is just shut off. It, it'll shut off and be cool. I got this 500 watt heater. I'm charging my phone and I'm going to take this, this refrigerator cooler, this new uh, Bouge RV refrigerator freezer. We going to plug that in too. Y'all want to do it. It can't hurt nothing. It'll just, if it don't take it, it won't burn up. It'll just shut off. I need my lab coat on for this, y'all. Let's get at it. Let's get at it right now. I'm going to unplug it. I'm going to unplug it from, okay, that's the Jackery charger. I'm going to unplug it. And just so y'all know, this is the plug to the refrigerator. It just cut off. I'm about to plug it into the Jackery. So watch the voltage. You hear it? You hear the refrigerator come back on? Everything is running. Everything is running, family. The heater is running. Listen. Everything is plugged in. And look, I'm down to 37 degrees in the refrigerator. From 60 degrees, when we first plugged it in, it was 60 degrees. So everything is running and we got still tons of power in this bad boy. It still got tons of power. We could run this all night, all night. <laughs> With no worries. Uh, let me see the safety shut off switch right if anything happened. It's just gonna shut off so Look, I got everything plugged. I'm looking for more stuff to plug in How long can it run all night? This is only a 500 watt heater. This is a 1500 watt uh power station with no panels hooked up so if the solar panels are hooked up the solar panels will be charging remember each panel is 120 watts right so that's 240 watts of energy being pumped back in they say that much ain't gonna never go in because of the you know, it's not that the panels ain't going to do 100%. Thank you, Letha McKenzie. Say thank you, Leg. God bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's that's going straight to the Jackery jackpot. Thank you. And she's going to give me $73. That is cool right there. Thank you. The 73 you already know how I'll keep playing on that. I had that one game and I was sending people seventy three dollars. They was like, "Why seventy three? Why not eighty? Seventy three dollars?" It was like, oh, oh yeah. So thank you, thank you for that so much. Thank you. But so far, family, <laughs> we run it and ain't no problems. Lay heads up if you run that heater in a tent with it near freezing outside it will rain on wait a minute i missed something it will rain what i missed that and my phone is is wait i missed it Re rebecca what happened to rebecca Oh, Rebecca, I didn't mean to time you out. I don't know what just happened, but Rebecca, Rebecca, I didn't mean to time you out. Oh, 
That was an accident. So Rebecca, I didn't mean to time you out. If that was a total accident. My finger is moving around. I don't know what I just touched. Everything kept moving back and forth. The refrigerator and the heater are running on parallel. Let's see, it's doing it again. I ain't gonna touch the screen. We're running on parallel circuits. See, let me stop my phone. Hold on, I'm touching too much stuff, y'all. Okay. Thank you so much. And again, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that, uh, my friend. The heater works so well it will cause condensation in the tent. Yeah, I'm 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 not worried about that stuff. This is for survival. This ain't just for every single day having some fun type of thing. And I understand all of that stuff can happen. This is in an emergency. Thank you so much, Essie. I caught you. Thank you, Essie. Say, I'm learning so much. Every time I touch my phone, it's tripping. Oh, because it's charging. I'm learning so much in these generators because uh cause silence and virtue for me. Thank you so much. Because you know what, family? This is something that we all, we all need to know now. And I, I heard somebody say, I, I knew that you would appreciate. Yeah, I'm liking it. A lot of the comments have disappeared. I didn't do that. Misunderstood. I know. I don't know what's going on. My phone was doing this. So it ain't this. It ain't the heater. It ain't this. I don't know. So I'm just putting out there. I hope, I hope it ain't a, a hobo tech. Hobo tech, man, I ain't mean nothing, man. I know you a science dude and you know how to do stuff. Don't hack me. <laughs> Don't hack me, hobo tech. You know, so yeah. Um, I'm going to unplug this stuff. Uh, let me see. What's YouTube is changing things. Yes, they are. They they doing a lot of changes. So this heater is now that it's warm. The heater is warm. It's only pulling 250 watts. You see that? Let me say we don't mind helping you because you help us all the time. Thank you so much, Gazelle. Giselle, thank you. I said turn on. Ooh, wait a minute. I'm gonna try to touch this again. I can't touch this phone. It won't let me. See that? See that? Turn on. Slow mo comments. This is the slow mo. Y'all just is y'all talk as much as I do. That's why. Other channels are also complaining about comments being deleted. Yeah, YouTube have it. Yeah. Beautiful beast at 520 watts. How many watts is the Blue Eddy? This one is 1500 watts. Um, it's Lead Farmer 73. You know the dollar sign Lead Farmer 73. I try to keep keep my name on everything just because. I miss one. No, I miss one. I can't touch the screen. I missed some of your super chats. No, because that's the whole thing. I believe it. But I couldn't look at the screen and look at this and show you guys because a lot of people came to see this thing light up. And I wanted to I wanted to do that for my family. Okay? Trust and believe on my day off, those panels gonna be outside. I need to see this. All right, so I'm going to unplug everything. I'm going to cut the power off first before I go to unplug and stuff. Hear that? Heater went off. That was dope. Super dope. Wait a minute. Back down to zero. Now, we are gonna plug this thing in. That was running off of pure energy that was already stored in here from the factory. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna plug this in and let this charge the way it's supposed to. I'm gonna plug my refrigerator back up. I'm so glad that worked so easy. Listen, it's gonna say beep. There it go. So. Now, family, let's talk about it. I can see you now. I'm with you. 
Hopefully I can still touch the phone without uh let me let me get my power banks in here and let that charge properly. Say yes, I know it's quiet. Yes, it's super quiet. And plug it back into the wall so it can charge properly. Now it's just charging up. Now remember, this is gonna be here. I'm gonna have power at all times for anything. For anything. Quiet power. Think about that. I am happy be rich. You just don't know. Think. While stuff is going on out there, I don't gotta have my Honda out there. I could be right inside here with all of my equipment. Nobody even knows I'm here with this. That was what I was talking about. Your solar storage power is stealth mode. Who just said that? Exactly. Home, SE Homestead says condensation maybe. I missed something. Uh... Which one is this again? The Blue Eddy 1500. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, free power. You never really got to plug this up. All you do is keep charging it. And for the people that just came in, thank you, Larisha Green. Thank you. I see you. She say for the Jackery Jackpot. I see that. Thank you so much. Thank you. For the people that just came in the room, they say, can you charge that up on solar? I saw that a couple times, okay? You missed the beginning of the video. This is the solar panel for it. Do you see that? 120 watts of solar to charge it. You don't got to ever plug this in the wall. You can plug it in the wall and charge it. But if your lights go out, that's not going to help you. Here you go. The sun will get it. Now, this is more powerful and bring in almost triple the watts. Almost triple. Let me think now. 25 and 45, that's 90. 90 plus 45, that's 130. Almost triple, almost doggone triple what this big Bahama Mama bring in. Almost triple. That's 50 pounds, over 50 pounds. And this weigh about three to four pounds. So I'm going to open it up again. So you see the people that just came in the room. What we talking about. And when you see the price, you're going to be like, hell no. But you're going to see why. You're just going to be like, hell yeah. You charging up. This can run your real refrigerator. This, Blue Eddie. You hear me? If you wanted it to. Huh? Right? Right? You fold that back up. You pick it up and run. You're taking your power with you. This is powerful enough to run your deep freezer. It's powerful enough to run your refrigerator. It's powerful enough to run your uh, air fryer, your um, hot plate, your skillet. You could run all of that stuff. This one, that's what. That's why I was like, how much power should I get? Get as much power as you can afford. Get as much as you can get. And if, if you don't think you need 2,000 or 1,500 watts, you only think the things you need is 240 watts, you need to just think over. Think over that. Because you 9 times 10, you will need more for something. Right now, you can't think of it right this very second. But something going to come up down the line where you will. Okay? Maybe in the south, it doesn't get that cold. But Rebecca Gray, um, I'm from the north. I know how cold it gets up there. I'm from Ohio. I know how cold it gets in Ohio. And I also know how to live in the cold in Ohio with no heat. And some of this stuff that I'm talking about, we've had to do it. So I know. 
Don't just think I'm just a, a, a southern boy. Okay? I've lived all over the country. So I know how to live down here in this heat. And I also know how to live in the snow. And it's thing, uh, you in Detroit? Okay. I'm, look, if you in Detroit, I'm in D Toledo. It's the same thing. I'm from Toledo, Ohio. You know where I'm from. Okay? So it's the same deal, baby girl. We both off that great lake. Lake Michigan. Huh? So, all right, you guys. I'm, I ain't going to mess with y'all too much. Any questions? Thank you, um, Muriel. Say, I'm thankful I found your channel last year. I've learned so much. Thank you so much. I'm doing my best. That's right. That lake effect. Chill you down to the bones. It's feel like it's snowing inside your soul. Chicago in the house, you know what it is. You know the cold. Don't it feel like it's you got icicles hanging from your rib cage? It's snowing inside your soul in the north. <laughs> Thank you, Kendra Heard. Thank you so much. Homestead with uh Essie. Thank you so much, Homestead. I mean Essie. Thank you so much for putting that up there. Uh Rebecca said, I know I'm saying the heater in the tent will cause so depending on how you do it though. Depending on how you do it. I can show you a couple things. Uh electrical storm says no, the Blue Eddy 2000 is an acid battery, like a car battery. Really? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I'm gonna have to look at look into that more. Say I'm late or oh, miss something. Sammy Joe, you can run it in an apartment. And no one will ever know. Right. That's why I said start looking into. Let me put this in, in the backdrop. Come on, big boy. You big old hefty rascal. Thank you, Misunderstood Garden. But look how pretty that is. Now, just to let y'all know, they come in black too. I thought I ordered the black one. I was just so happy to grab one. I, I forgot and I didn't. I didn't check. I didn't check the color until it was over with, until I hit uh, uh, purchase. But it has a black shell with the white trim. The only thing is, it's beautiful. I would have preferred the black one. But the other thing is, when it's sitting out in the sun, that'll heat it up more. You know, black draws heat. That's right, Essie, quiet. So nobody know you got power. You could be in your safe room, quiet. You got your CBs going, your radios going, that you need to call for help. Whatever kind of heating source you got to keep warm. And nobody, you eating, you warming your food up all off of this in the sun and nobody know. You don't got to put your solar panels outside. You can put them right up to your window. You won't bring in as much power like that, but you'll bring in enough power to survive. I showed y'all that on my old video with that big monster. Okay. Thank you so much, uh, Mar Mar. I'm about to, hey, I want to say before I go, thank you to everybody. I was going to run another test because I purchased another heater that has a selection of 1,500, I mean, 500, 700, and 1,500 watts. There's no need to do that. We know this thing going to do it. Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. And this is what I'm going to do. I promise you. I promise you. Thank you, uh, Ann Christie. Thank you so much. I see you. Say thank you for I'm sorry about that. I touched it. Thank you. I'm going to put all of these names on that Jackery and a t-shirt. Everybody named that helped me purchase that thing. I am put, thank you, Yolanda Oden Horton. Thank you so much. We're going to, I'm going to let her work on that. Because y'all know I'll be forgetting. I'll be so busy and running this other business and everything else. And YouTube and work. I work full time. My job is not a part time job. <laughs> Sorry about that. Allergies. 
I work full time. And I run another business and I do YouTube. I do the best I can do. So I, I want to say thank you. Thank you for just hanging out with me. That's it. You ain't got to listen. You ain't got to hang out that long. You ain't got to be here doing this all the time with me. My madness. Uh, is it windy in Romulus, Michigan? I used to take uh, truckloads to Romulus, Michigan to a GM dealer up there. <laughs> That's hilarious. So thank you, you guys. Um, I'm going to make sure that she takes care of that. Every single name that donated, we're going to put it on a T-shirt. And we're going to put, what I would like is Jackery Jackpot in the middle like this and everybody's name all around it is that's what i would that's what i want but sometimes she come up with great designs better than anything i can think of so that's what i want to do and it's going i want it all on that jackery too we that's going to take a long time cuz a lot of people tonight donated and i want to say thank you god bless you Thank you so much. Essie, you know that New York. I know that New York and you too. You know how to live up there in the windy buildings. Thank you, you guys. So this is what we're going to do. Tomorrow, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug everything up. And when I do, when we do the prepper party, I'm only going to run power off of everything we saw tonight. We're going to stay warm. I'm cutting off the AC. I'm cutting off everything. Main power switch off. We're going to charge our phones. Thank you, Stacy, uh, so much oh, for Jackery Jackpot. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you. I appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. So I'm sure the Blue Eddy is a lithium ion. Yes, it's lithium ion battery in the Blue Eddy. Uh, did you tell us the watts? Yes, it's 1,500 watts. It's a this one is a 1,500 watt. What, that was that was like the perfect size for me because I, I don't need a big one I need to put on a cart or something this is perfect I can carry it I can pick it up it can fit right in anywhere in your trunk in your little car go on the website go to Amazon you will see because the prices are changing because they're bringing out new equipment thank you so much NC chick so thanks for everything Led. I appreciate y'all thank you so much the prices on all of this stuff is changing, so I don't want to quote no prices because I promise you the other day I was telling everybody how much stuff costs and y'all proved me wrong. Y'all said, no, lead. that's not the right price. Go to Home Depot and the price is this. Go here, the price is that. I'm like, what? Go to the website. It was on sale for $4.19. What? Y'all seen the video? Y'all told me. So I don't want to quote no prices because trust me, y'all know better than I do. Uh, main course encouragement to make a PayPal. Make a PayPal what? I am at work right now at the post office watching you. Shh, shh. You better case that mail and cut it out. Oh, you must be at the factory this late. Uh, would you get the Jackery 1500 or the Jackery 1000 and solar panel? I'm way, I want to get the Jackery 1500 with the solar panels. And if I can't get that, I'm going to get the Jackery 1000 with the solar panels. I say get whatever you're going to get, get your solar panels with it. Trust me. Because that plugging in business in the wall, this, free energy is what this is supposed to be about. So your investment is going to pay you back. You understand? That's, that's what I'm trying to tell you. Yes, it hurts you at first. Your, your, initial pay, your initial investment is going to hurt you. But to get, I got you blended dreams that I was saving up for last. To get your, your investment is going to keep coming back. Constantly, every time you charge your phone, instead of plugging stuff in the wall, instead of plugging everything, you plug it right into this. Your investment comes back because nothing is powering all your stuff anymore, your lights and all your toasters and stuff around your house, except for the sun. 
your money come back. You're investing. Listen, listen, family. One thing I love about this better than my gasoline, my Honda. I love my Honda. This is investing in free energy. Free energy. The more watch you got, the more stuff you can run, which means everything in your house running for free. You got to think about that. What if you already have a port, uh, portable panels? You can use them with the jacket. Yes, as long as you got the right connectors, the right wires. Do your do your research, okay? Don't go off of me. I'm 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 green, but do your research. But yes, yes. Uh, can you can you use a hot, like a hot plate? I don't know. It stop it hot, but yes. Yeah, I got you, S. Smith. Can can says Selena. I took my card off. Okay. Uh, anointed said Blue Eddie fifteen hundred. Okay. See, the price is everywhere. Free, quiet energy. You hear this? We ran this and was charging my refrigerator, my phone, a heater. So all basically the stuff you need in your house right now, we charge. Your refrigerator, your phone, your tablet, and some heat. Heat, refrigeration, communication. And it never made a noise, no louder than what you hear right here. This is the this is what it plugged in the wall, but that's the noise that the heater was making. Remember, listen. Other than that, you didn't hear anything. I was, we're all sitting right here. Look how close the phone is to me. This is how close the phone is. So you know. Here, here's my wrist. This is how close you is to this. This whole time. I even put the phone right next to it. Nothing. Quiet. Something you can sleep with. You can run your CPAP machine, family. People need sleeping machines uh did you purchase on amazon yes yes run your medical equipment you got a family member sleep in a medical bed and it takes power you can run that on this because i know from being in the medical field those crank beds and yes sometimes you run into them especially in a nursing home those hand crank beds ain't nothing to be playing with Crank the back up, crank up the feet, crank up the middle, then turn the patient. Huh, I'm already sweating. So if you have a medical bed that is uh, automatic or mechanical, this will run that. Are you on a feeding machine, a dialysis machine? This will run those things. Think about that. Everybody got somebody in their family with serious medical issues. This will run that. In a power outage, how many times have you thought about if the lights go out, this is not going to be good in my family. And I'm not talking about because I can't heat up my doggone uh, toaster strudels. I'm talking about if the lights go out in this household, somebody might not make it. If you have that in your head, if the lights go out for too long in your household, it's going to jeopardize the loved one in your house. You don't even need to be talking to me no more. You need to be clicking off and going to look at this. Thank you so much, Raptin. Uh, Raptin Scraps. Thank you. True, true story. Think about this. I ain't making no money from these people. I don't care which one you get. I don't care where you get it from. But we need to take our lives a little bit more seriously. That's why we garden it. That's why we can it. That's why we store it. Thank you, Urban Girl Gardening. That's why we're doing all of this. This ain't just the new TikTok dance. Thank you, Yvonne uh, Roberts. Thank you so much. And thank you. Thank you for helping us survive an emergency. Thank you, uh, Sheila Wade. Thank you so much. So thank you for helping us survive an emergency. Thank you. I'm just trying to put... We watch 
We watch so much nonsense either on TV or on the computer that sometimes we let reality slip by us. We start forgetting it's a real world out there. Have you ever watched some of these channels or videos on some of these social media sites and just shook your head like, what is that? Why did you eat? What? What? Right? That's the world we live in right now. People, people feel more comfortable living in fantasy. It's comforting. It's comforting not to deal with reality. That's why people do drugs. That's why people drink alcohol. That's why people do the stuff that they do. They don't want to deal with reality. That's why. People don't want to think about I got bills to pay. People don't want to think about I got uh, three kids to feed all by myself. Don't want to think about I'm working this crap of a job that don't pay no money and, and my lights is off at the house and I don't know how I'm going to cut them off. People don't want that so they end up doing stuff drastic like drugs and everything else and go on social media and become something else. People want to be kitty cats and stuff. I don't get that, but that's none of my concern. But people rather be locked into fantasy, like games. You rather be in a fantasy world than reality. But I'm going to tell you something real quick. There's nothing wrong with fantasy. There's nothing wrong with role play. But you got to wake up. Some of us, remember... It used to be a time where divorce, what caused divorce the most was finances and uh, infidelity, cheating and stuff. Cheating and finance used to, used to be one of the main causes of divorce rate. Not no more. You want to know what the highest thing for divorce rate is now? How many times have you seen these cases where, so did your husband cheat on you? No, not really. What, what, he stopped paying the bills? No, no, he pays the bills. Well, what's the problem? He been playing modern warfare for like four years. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. I appreciate you. You know, <laughs> he done had this, these goggles on his face for a week. He has not seen the light of day in a week. And he keep talking about his team is about to get iced. I don't even know what that means, sir. Your honor. What team? He's playing with a 13-year-old boy in Korea and a, um, a couple of other guys somewhere in New York. We're in Arkansas. I don't know what team he's talking about, and I, I haven't seen his eyes in a week. <laughs> oh, oh, man, come on, man. You let him get me, man. You got to watch my back. Watch my six. Watch my six. We're locked into fantasy so much that it's become we're making our fantasy a reality no matter how much you do that it'll never work all i want to do is wake a few people up literally wake a few people up oh, that's dead. if we can do that we cook it with gas no, I, I'm not saying that he got to have a child like mine. I ain't, I'm not going to knock him for playing the game, okay? I'm not going to knock him for always wiping and waxing on his car I'm, or, or, or the woman always want to go to the club. I'm not knocking people for doing enjoying themselves, okay? I'm just saying, listen, it's a cutoff time. See, let me tell you something. For, I don't know how many how many people uh, in here is as old as I am, okay? I'm 48 years old. And here's the deal. I'm old enough to remember TV used to cut off. 
You understand? There was about three channels. Three in the world. There was three channels. And I think it was about 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock. Them junks cut off. And all you can look at from that point on, they said the Pledge of Allegiance and, you know, the little song and showed a bunch of pictures. And then it was just white fuzz until maybe, I'm going to say, 7 o'clock in the morning the next day. So from that 11 or 12 o'clock all the way to 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning, you better pull out a deck of cards or take your junkie self to bed. Where you need to be. Talk to your family. Now. We live in a world where stuff. Don't cut off. Nothing goes off. Anymore. So. Even your fantasy. So people get lost. Into fantasy world. Because there is no shut off switch no more. All I'm saying is snap out of it because in reality is the world is in a crisis. We need to make sure we're going to be okay in that real crisis. And for all the folks that really ain't feeling what I'm saying right now, let me put it to you in, in terms that you may understand a little better. Without power like that, Without purchasing this power, your game console is going to cut off. <laughs> if, if you don't care about the lights going on and the world blowing up and all of that stuff, and dirty water and toxic water and pollution, let's put it to you in better terms. If you don't get this, your game is going to cut off. You don't care about getting divorced from, from your wife, whatever. Okay, I get it. Your game is going to cut off if you don't have no backup power. I hope that helped. <laughs> okay? So for the people that's in reality, you know, the times we in. The people that want to stay with them goggles on, this will cut that Xbox off, Jack. That new PlayStation, useless. It's just a big brick without this when the grid go down. Okay? All right. I had to speak in two different languages right there. So, right, game over. Blue, 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 blue. All right. I want to say thank you to everybody that joined me tonight. There will be more to come. I love you. Thank you. And thank everybody for all the donations. I'm going to do the Jackery jackpot and put all of this money towards that new Jackery. And I will, will, she going to take care of it. Put all your names on that shirt and that jackery. I don't care how we fit it on there. It's going. Now, before I go, let's check the freezer. Let's check the freezer. I'm going to say I plugged it up an hour ago. All right, before I look at it, Everybody, anybody want to guess what the temperature is? Guess the temperature. Thank you, Jerry. Guess the temperature. I wish, Jim. Everybody, guess the temperature. Pick a number. What temperature you think it was? Remember, we started at 64 degrees. Was it 64 degrees? 64, 63. Ooh, somebody just said it too. Um, um, Andale Homestead, Andale Homestead, you are the winner, Andale Homestead. It is at 32 degrees from 64 degrees in an hour. Wait, where is it? 32 degrees. Now let's look inside.
I love that magnet door. I like that. Ooh. Oh, it's, it's ice cold. It's ice cold, family. Hey, babe, come fill this freezer. Oh, I thought you was your boss. It's ice cold. I'm trying, it feel like it's ice on, it is. Look, uh, see that ice right there? Oh, no, it ain't, no, it ain't. Yeah, it is, yeah, it is. See it? I'm scraping that ice. Ha! That is so dope. So, I'm going to be putting and it's only at 32 degrees. Remember, for 32 degrees, that's around where you want your refrigerator at. Right? So I'm going to boost this up because I don't want to... Or do I? No, I'm going to raise the temperature because I want it to be at... I don't want it to go to 32. I don't think. I don't want it to freeze solid. So... I am going to put the link to everything we seen here in the video as soon as it's over. This refrigerator freezer is the truth. Mind you, you can plug this into your car. Cigarette lighter. Or plug it into your house. Either one. It's not a cooler. It's not a cooler. Terrible Arnold Schwarzenegger accident. It's a refrigerator, a real live refrigerator, a real live refrigerator with a compressor on it, just like the one in your kitchen, a real live refrigerator and a real live freezer. This stuff is freezing right now. Ain't no truck camper thing gonna do that to go like you get at the truck stop. It's called a Bouge RV, and I got the 30 quart. So the 30 quart looks like it could get two got two gallons of milk and about uh, maybe four more quart jars in there. Okay. Go online. I'm not saying no prices because the, the prices are changing. And it depends on how much, how much do you think you need it? Well, y'all changed my mind. I, I was like, you need refrigeration, but you can't power no big giant house free, free, freezer and refrigerator. But now you don't even have to. You could store your medication in here. Keep meat cold. See, I wasn't even thinking. That's why I keep on thinking. Think, family. You catch food. Say you are out in the wild and you on the run and you hunting for food. What happens when you finally find some food and you find a lot of it? You got some options. You got some stuff you got to figure out real quick. Put this meat on ice until you have time to get it canned up. Put this meat on ice until you have time to smoke it. Have time to dry it out. Just saying. So y'all changed my mind about refrigeration completely, all right? So thank you, you guys. I'm going to put all the links up when I'm done, and I'm going to keep y'all posted on the Jackery Jackpot. We are getting that sucker. We getting it, all right? I want to say thank you to everybody that joined us tonight. I had a blast, and all of this stuff is so dope. Almost make me wish I ain't have to go to work tomorrow. Uh, Gina Wild, you be a v vegetarian? No, you won't. If you had to survive, no, you wouldn't. I'm not even gonna go down that route again. You ain't never been hungry enough. Listen, you would you would like it to be that way, but you gonna eat whatever you have to eat to survive. I sad but true, true story. And if you don't got if you don't got that in your head, you ain't been hungry enough yet. It could be it could be times where, listen, 
you start looking at your homeboy like, <laughs> okay. Thank, thank you, Denise. I appreciate you. Uh, SQ said you won't survive either. I said prayer for you. I said prayer for you because listen to me closely. If that's what you truly, truly think that whether you're a vegan or a vegetarian, that you will just rather perish, your mind won't even let you do that. Your brain won't even let you perish. You'll click into your um, primitive self. If you get hungry enough, the, the part where you want to be a vegan, yeah, that part will perish. But your primitive you will kick in and your primitive you is going to eat. And once your primitive you has enough vitamins and nutrients in your body, the real you is going to wake back up and be like, oh my God, what did I do? Just saying, okay? It's the truth. You ever heard of people blacking out and eating because they were so hungry? You could eat so much that you would get sick because you ate it too fast? Somebody, for instance, on a feeding tube, if you've been on a feeding tube and now you're back on solid food, you can't eat no whole plate of food. I don't care what you eat, vegetables or meat. Your body isn't used to that anymore. You can only eat a little bit at a time. So you will black out because you're so hungry to taste real food again. So you can think what you want to think, but I'm telling you from a medical standpoint, it just don't work that way. Your brain will not let you do that. Your brain won't. Your hands will. Your brain won't. Okay? You're going to have, if you get hungry enough or if you get thirsty enough, your brain is going to have thoughts that you would, you're going to pray to whoever it is you pray to that please stop letting me think that. Because you're going to be looking at things in an edible fashion that you shouldn't be looking at like that. Okay, yeah. Just saying. Uh, hallucinations. You can call it what you want to. You're going to eat, though. That's my promise to you. That's my promise to you. You've never been there where you like, look, something about to get ate. Your body ain't, your body going to take over. I wouldn't lie to you about this stuff, all right? You have you have never been in a situation to the point. you Right now, you're in your right mind. You can make any choice you want to. Your body is not deciding for you. Okay, once your brain and your body shut down, whole nother person comes out. A person that you've never met, clearly. A person that you have never met. You ever hear about how people, if you get them cornered up, the quietest person, the most gentle person, the most passionate person, the person that would never harm a fly, wouldn't rip a wing off of a gnat, will destroy you if you keep picking with them and turn into a beast and destroy the biggest person in the room? Because they got tired of being picked on. And you know what ends up happening? That person blacks out. Even though they're really short and they're really small, that person blacks out and their primitive them comes out to defend themselves and destroy whatever big threat came at them, destroys it. And then they snap out of it and start crying because they don't know what just happened. All they see is blood. They don't even know where it's coming from. You or them. Nothing is different when it comes to eating and drinking. You will black out just like that. And wake back up with food and nourishment on your mouth. And you might even say, oh Lord, what have I done? Okay. 
I just want to talk about real stuff. I don't want to talk about fantasy stuff. I told you about the fantasy stuff a minute ago. We ain't going to do fantasy, okay? I'm, I'm doing my best to keep you some, some real, keep you alive. So I don't want you, I've seen some of those television shows where they got voted off the island because they won't eat the possum. That's because they can go home if they don't. They are not going to die if they don't eat that possum. They're going to get on a plane and go eat some peanuts and some Pepsi and go home. This way, if you don't eat that possum, the possum going to end up eating you because you're going to die. So, with that being said, I'm going to stop because I don't want to get too graphic. I'm too happy. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you for all the donations. Thank you so much. I love you. Have a wonderful night. Power up. We're going to say that. Power up, family. Are you ready for the lights to go out again? I am. Get ready. Because it's not going to stop. Everything look nice. It's not going to stop. See y'all tomorrow. During the prepper party. So we can use all of this equipment and test it out. All right? Thank you so much, everybody. Lea Farmer 73, I love you, and I'm out. Power up. And if you do end up purchasing any, I don't care what kind it is, email me. You see, I've been paying real close attention to everybody in the power game, right? I've been paying, I've been jumping in on y'all videos. I've been posting y'all videos. If you do a video with your generator, for the rest of this week. If you do a video with your generator for the rest of this week, I don't care if it's gas, I don't care if it's electric, I don't care if it's small, I don't care if it's big. You do a video with your generator, I don't care how long the video is, I'm gonna post it in my community link. All right? Thank you so much, everybody. Live from 73. I love you on out. Do me a favor and email me and let me know that you just posted your video with you talking about your generator and the way you power your stuff up and I'm going to post it on my community post. I'm going to get on everybody's nerves, but that's okay because everybody need to get woke up and see you need your juices. All right? Power up, everybody. Live Farm 73. I love you and I'm out.